Hey everybody, welcome to Smoke Robots Review. I'm your host Elias, and today we're going to be reviewing Koji. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. So, Koji, the robot here uh, is a portable educational robot uh, made by Huawei, the makers of RoboSapien and Chip the Robot Dog among other great toys. It is intended for our very young audience uh, and its purpose is to introduce them into the world of programming using emojis and other fun games. Uh, it is made to, to work with uh, an application uh, but as you can see it comes with some functionality right out of the box. Uh, for example it has built-in emojis uh, that you can select and activate by pressing the top of the head and likes to talk and uh, make a lot of sounds. It is powered by three AAA batteries and seems to work best on a flat surface. Uh, we're going to get into the uh, thick of things here with the with Koji. Uh, I'll break down for you the application and the, the, the capabilities of this little smart robot. Um, but if you want to skip ahead, check out the box here. Um, in case you want to get right down to the uh, uh, final word. Right. You like that, don't you? All right, cool. Without, without any delay, let's get started. So I'm testing the Koji app here on an iPad Air 2. Okay, Koji, behave. So let's see what happens here. I'm gonna press the refresh button there's my robot. So it's going to establish a Bluetooth connection. I'm going to click the robot. Loading. All right, this is a character storyboard um, sequence here that you can watch. If you click the skip button, it goes on to the main menu area, which is where everything happens. In the settings button, here you can rename your Koji, disconnect the Koji. Koji comes with three different games, Sequence Says, Macro Maze, and Loop Run. All three are very easy to learn. Sequence Says is a memory game. The objective of the game is to repeat a sequence of emojis. So let's see how this works. Koji is going to display an emoji. In this case, it would be a lion. If you correctly repeat back that pattern of one lion, you win. You move on to the next level. Now we have a lion and a whale. Again, if you repeat that pattern, you move on to the next level. Pretty simple. Navigation is also pretty simple. You press pause, you can go back home, you can resume the game, or restart the level. Alright, let's move on to the next game called Macromaze. This is a problem solving game in which the user has to correctly guide Koji out of the maze by providing directional commands like forward, left, right, and so on. For example, for this level, we're going to have to apply one forward movement like this to escape to the next level. Here, we have to move forward three spaces to make it to the next level. Think of this as a practice run from when we're really going to be programming Koji in just a bit. Good job, Koji. Moving on to the next game. This one's called Loop Run. And Loop Run is a, I would say, Super Mario Brothers-like game. You hop around, avoid obstacles, you can jump fly. Pretty straightforward, and just like the other games, the difficulty becomes progressively more challenging. With free play, 
Here you get to learn the different icons and what they do. So if I'm going to give the sleepy head icon here to Koji and I'm going to save it, let's see what it does. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh, 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 wait, wait, what's going on, Koji? All right, I see. So I, cre I uh, told it to go to sleep, and then it reacted back with a loving emoji here. Let's see what happens if I continue being silly. Let's see how Koji will react. Koji oh, like that. All right, good job, Koji. All right, so let's go back to the main menu. Drive mode. Drive mode is freestyle driving of Koji. There you go. We can do certain things. <laughs> the profile button here you can keep track of all the awards you collect throughout your learning and fun process uh, your score and you can put your name you can create multiple profiles can I change my picture there we go I can change my picture I like this guy Let's go back to the home menu. But you didn't get the Koji, I imagine, to just play some simple games. The true power of this little guy comes in the command center. You can program different sequences with the emoji uh, code here. You're creating, in effect, what they call macros. A sequence of emojis will uh, make the uh, Koji react a certain way. And together that forms a macro so let's form a simple macro let's say let's go to vehicles and I'll do planes <laughs> trains and automobiles let's do that see how he behaves I'm gonna put him over here I'm going to test it there we go all right he went out of the picture Okay, so he behaved a certain way. Now let's say we want to save that macro into one of the preset uh, macro locations here. Right now you're set to one, so if I click this button here, it is saved. And in case you want to use this macro when the application is off, you can save it to the robot by clicking this button and selecting macro one for example i'll save it there we go he's confirming that it was saved or it's saving rather as you can see now it says uploaded and let's see oh, okay. All right. yes 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 okay so you did the little choo-choo train thing right. good job koji all right so let's go back to the most more basic Function. So let's say I'm going to create a um, second one here. I'm going to create one that will go forward and it's going to turn right and it's going to act like it got hurt. All right, let's uh, click save and try it out. Good job, Koji. So we want to save it. So we're going to save it into the application and we're going to save it to the robot itself over here into mode two. All right, upload. All right, 
So what does that mean? So what do we just do? Let's say we, the application is not running. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna tell it, disconnect my Koji. Now there are buttons here on the right and left of its head. You can skip up and skip down to the different emojis. Let's say I pick number one and I press its head like this. Wait, stand the screen. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to select now number two. He's a lot of fun. Koji also has an offline mode. If you're not going to use the application, It has built-in emojis already configured. So if you select one from the left to the right here, if you sequence up and down, you can press press the head down like this. Act out that behavior for that emoji. It also has the ability to to engage the the macros we already saved. For example, number one, if you remember, it was plane, trains, and automobiles. There's the plane, there's the choo-choo train, and the automobile. Also, if you shake him, he acts kind of silly. Okay, really neat. So, while we, I believe, has done a great job with this little product, I think it's a great introduction for a young person into the world of programming. And what did you guys think of Akoji? Is this something you would invest in? We'd love to hear from you. Leave your feedback and comments below. And until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review. Koji, say goodbye. Hey everyone and welcome to Smart Robots Review. I'm your host Elias and today we're reviewing Koji. Dude, seriously man? Now you run out of batteries? Koji! <laughs> I want